everyone welcome back to cybrosis so today in this video i'll be talking about the sla policies which is provided by the help desk module of odo 70 sla is simply service level agreements so this agreement actually gives you an idea about the level of service which is provided to the customer by the supplier so it's really easy to manage the sla policies using the help desk module without wasting any time let's move on to the help desk and see how to manage slas Okay, so now let's configure the SLA policies inside the help desk module. So for that, first we have to open the help desk. Now here is the help desk. And once you open it, what you have to do first is go to the configuration. Now here you have all the tickets and all, okay. Let's go to the configuration and here you have this help desk team. So before going on to SLA policies, I'll just open this help desk team. And basically you have two teams, which is VIP support and customer care. So let the team be like i mean you can choose any of these okay so i'll do one thing i'll simply choose this customer care and just scroll down and under performance make sure that sla policy is enabled so this is to make sure tickets are handled on time now after enabling this you can you know provide this working hours so i've given standard 40 hours per week you can change it to whatever you need and once you're done you just save it and what you have to do is go to configuration and here you have the SLA policy, open that. Now you have these much SLA policies which are there. So I'll create a new one, okay. So the name of the, you know, tick, not the ticket, sorry, the SLA policy I'm going to give is tickets which are to be closed within 24 hours, okay. So this is the SLA policy which I'm creating. That is the ticket to be closed within 24. Sorry, not 25. It's 24. Okay, 24 hours. And then if you have any description for this policy, you can specify it over here. You have the criteria that is this SLA policy will apply to ticket matching all of the following criteria. So you will specify certain criteria. And what happens is that once you specify the criteria, the SLA policy will be applied automatically based on the criteria which we give. So the help desk team, which we are going to give is the customer care. Okay. And then you can set priority to this. So I'll put it as high priority. Then you can choose tag. So I'm putting it as service. And if you want to add more tags, you can add it from here. Then you can choose the customer from here. Okay. So I'll do one thing. I'll choose the equidict. Okay. Then you have the target and that is whether it's solved or whatever it is, you can choose it. That is the target stage. And then you have within how many hours. So I'll do one thing. I'll put 24 hours. Okay. And if you want to, you know, add any excluding stages and all that can be added. So I've created an SLA policy and I'm saving it. Okay. So once you do that, let's go to the overview. I mean, let's go to the help disk module once again. Sorry. Here you have the dashboard that is the help disk overview. Okay. Now our, uh, you know, team is this customer care so here i'm going to create a new you know ticket okay so let the ticket be created over here so i'm going to create a ticket as defective office chair or anything whatever the product is you can give the name of the you know um help desk that is the ticket which you're going to create and currently it will be in new state then you can add the customer over here. So let the customer be decoded. The phone number and all the other details will come automatically. And you can choose to whom this is assigned to. I'll put Michelle admin. You can set the priority over here and you can even add tags. So I'm putting it as a service. And then you can add description regarding the ticket. Okay. So this can actually be an issue, right? So you can just give it over here. And then you have the extra info section. So there you have the company details and all. Okay. So once it's done, you can simply change it to in progress or whatever the state it is. Now here you can see this is a ticket which is to be closed within 24 hours. Now this is what which we created right now. This is the policy which we created, right? Now that policy has been applied here in the ticket which we created. Okay. So that's done. Now here you can see a mail is sent. Okay, regarding the ticket, a mail is sent to the customer. If you want, you can view the ticket from here. So simply clicking on view ticket. So this is the ticket. Okay, 
So you can see, uh, you know, the stage is in progress. Now, if the customer want to write the message, so if the customer is asking any updates and then simply click on send. Okay. So this is how it will be, you know, shown in the customer portal. A customer can write message from here. Let's go back to the help desk and I'll show you. So here is the customer care. Let's open the tickets which we created. You have this. This, this is the defective office chair which we created right now. Now, if you just take a look at the log, you can see the message which was putted from the customer portal as any updates. Okay, so that's shown here. So communication can be done through this means. And after that, once it's done, you have the option to put it under solved or even canceled. Now, solved is the state which we given. So once it's done, put it back to solved and then you can see ticket to be closed within 24 hours. If you just go back to the customer care, Inside the solved, you can see the defective office chair, that is the ticket which we have created right now. Now, this is basically how you can manage the SLA policy and how to implement it inside a ticket. So, yeah, that's it. So, that's how you can easily manage the SLA policies. I hope it was helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.